Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 12 of my full platinum walkthrough of Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. So this is going to be the shortest video, time-wise, but probably the longest video of the whole series. Uh, what we're going to do is the two Belfries. So Belfry Salt and Belfry Luna, we're going to do Belfry Luna first. Belfry Luna is, is kind of optional, really. It's the one that we passed up very early on in the Lost Bastille. So we're going to go there and go to the Servants' Quarters. I'll show you where it is. We'll quickly do the boss. You can run through it in about five minutes. It's very, very short. But you can actually get the uh, the Covenant, the Bell Keeper's Covenant. Uh, so what we're going to do is go down here first, and there is actually going to be a Pursuer down here. You should have uh, a grasp of how to fight these guys by now. This is a weaker one. You should be okay. So I'm going to kind of just do it roughly. I'm not trying to beat him without taking damage. Just going to try and get rid of him. Of course, the most important thing to avoid is that attack. He will... Um, you will lose your humanity, you will become undead if he hits you with that instantly. Uh, you won't die, but you will, uh, yeah, you'll lose your humanity. You'll become cursed. So yeah, I'm doing pretty roughly, just the normal. It is quite small in here, and there are lots of crates. You can see I got stuck on one then. Uh, so yeah, just try and force the um, the charge attack that he, he does, this one, and uh, just go for it. I think I go for the kill now. Oh no, almost. <laughs> yeah, that was a, that was a close one. But there you go. It's simple enough. Uh, he is an, an early game one. This is an early game place, really. Uh, but we've had no reason to come down here. I thought I'd just put them both together so you could see it and come down here if you like. Uh, there is a weapon you may like at the end of this place called the Dragon's Tooth, which is Havel's. If you remember, if you've played the first one, you'll know who Havel is. Uh, it's his weapon. And there's also a priest's chime and a large club. So you will need a Pharos Lockstone. You should have plenty of those by now. Let's go search the corners. And then hit this and go through. And uh, yeah, this is Belfry Luna. So we're actually going... The reason this, this video is going to be technically the longest one is we're going to be doing farming for two covenants. So just speak to this guy, exhaust the dialogue, and he will ask you to join the covenant. Uh, agree to do this so you'll get the trophy but then actually join the bellkeeper's covenant as well we do need to do that for one of the farming situations which we're going to do in belfry sol the second one uh, and then we're also going to do the sunlight metal farming as well so it's going to take you roughly two hours each unfortunately depending how lucky you are uh, unfortunately that is that's how it's going to be uh, so i'll show you sort of the first where to do the farming and um yeah, just sort of some tactics for it and what you'll exactly what you'll need. So you'll also get the the key there, uh, the ring there. Sorry. So make sure to equip that ring. Uh, we need it for the actual farming, which we're going to do shortly. So I thought I'd just tell you to put it on now. I will remind you just before we do it. And uh, yeah, you're going to see these little. Um, I think they're called grey specters, something like that. Grey. Um, go. No, what's the word? <laughs> you know what I mean. The little dwarfs that look weird. Um, not because they're dwarfs, but because they're blue <laughs> or grey. <laughs> uh, yeah, just drop down here, get the blue tear stone ring. And then um, this is just kind of a little secret bit. The blue tear stone ring helps with defence when it's when your health is low. Not a particularly great ring, to be honest. There are a lot better ones you could be wearing. You can see there is a summon there underneath these stairs. And then there's going to be another little guy up here. They are very easy to take care of. Should just be three three hits and done. Three shots. One, two, three, and then that's it. We're at the boss and we're at the end of the area. But you do need to open that gate up first, so that means going up. So the idea for this one is that we want to fully level up the Bell Keeper's Covenant. The reason we want to do that is for a sorcery hidden weapon. It's the only way to get it in the game. Uh, so we need to get to rank two of the Covenant. To get ranks in the Covenant, you need to kill invaders or imposters not imposters invaders people who are invading the certain part these two uh, belfries so to get invaded you need to be a part of the covenant which you can see in the top left hand corner you can see that bell you can see the covenant icon in the top left there it's kind of glowing and flashing that means it's actually searching uh, for another game to go to um, that will happen and i will show you later on um, but what you need to do is kill invaders, so somebody that's invaded you. Now there is an NPC, there is a computer invader that can randomly pop up, mostly at the other one, it is quicker to do it at the other one, it can happen here as well. You need to kill an invader 30 times. 
it's a lot. It doesn't sound like a lot, but the chance of an invader showing up, the NPC computer one, um, is maybe one in ten attempts of looking where they should be. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is going up a ladder, checking if it's there, it's not, drop back down, sit at the bonfire. We're not going to do it at this one, we'll do it at the one in Iron Keep, Belfry Sol. Um, sit at the bonfire, go back, back up the ladder, have a look if he's there, if he's not, drop down and just keep doing that. And it's probably one in every ten times you do that. Uh, maybe a bit less, but it's it's still, it's a lot, It's it's very rare. Uh, and that's the only way to do it. Of course, other people can invade you, and that will count as well. Uh, so a red phantom. But with the online being pretty much dead with this, um, the chances of that are pretty damn slim, to be honest. I think I've had it once, happened once in the three times that I've farmed, so maybe six hours worth, uh, or maybe five. I've not fully farmed this year. Maybe five hours, let's say that. One, it's happened once. So it's very rare. We do have to rely on the computer. Uh, the NPC. So this is the Belfry Gargoyles, this is the quick boss fight. So I've brought the summon in. I'd advise you do the same. Uh, and you need to be quick with this. You can see there's two of them. They just keep coming. They're just going to keep coming. So you need to kill them individually. They do share a life bar at the bottom there, but you can see they also have their own, their own individual life bars as well. So just kill them one at a time and just concentrate on getting rid of one. So you can see that one's got half health. A new one will come flying in. There he is. Uh, just, yeah. Just get rid of them as quickly as possible. I didn't take my own advice then and went for a fresh one, but he was the one that was in front of me. The other one was being dealt damage anyway, so... Uh, yeah, at this point with this weapon, uh, you should be fine getting rid of these pretty quickly. They do breathe fire, it's quite easy to avoid, you can see there. Uh, they, they're not going to... even if they do hit you, they don't do much damage now. We have pretty good defences against these things. Uh, so yeah, don't worry about it not difficult at all but again there is a bonfire at the other end of this uh, you could use that for the farming uh, but it's it's definitely quicker to do it at the other place uh, so that's where we'll be doing it but I thought I'd just show you if you want to do it here and run around up here looking for invaders then you can do it here as well but there's a definite place where I know in the other one we can uh, get it done and again the dragon tooth is here so if you want that weapon it's a strength weapon then uh, you can also use that as well uh, yeah there we go pretty easy can be done alone fairly easily as well. Obviously, bringing a summon in gives the gargoyles more health, so it may be easier to do it alone. But it's just it's simple enough with an invader. And uh, yeah, that's it. Gonna southern ritual ritual band, which can be quite helpful. Uh, we haven't upgraded any uh, attunement, so we don't actually have any attunement slots to put any spells in. Uh, what the rich southern ritual band does is once you once you have it equipped. Uh, you'll get an achievement slot, so if you need to quickly just use a spell for some reason, um, then you can do that. Put that band on, you'll get an achievement slot. You can um, sit at a bonfire, attune a spell if you need it in a, any given case. Uh, I'm not a uh, magic build or anything, and you may be. You may have attunement slots, and it's completely useless to you. But if you need it in a pinch, that's what that band does, so it is worth having as well. You will get invaded here by Vogel the Sinner. He's simple enough. Um, Get rid of the dogs, that's the most important thing at this point. Ignore him for a moment. He's uh, fairly weak. Or oh, he is at this point. This Again, this is early, isn't it? It's lost Bastille. We could have been here very early on. But there was no reason to be here and struggle. Yeah, it's nearly broken, but we are nearly done. I'm just showing you where the uh, Dragon's Tooth is, and then we'll move on to Belfry Sol and actually start the farming off. There's Dragon Tooth and a petrified something. So could come in handy, you might get petrified dragon bone. And there's an enchanted falchion up here and another dog. Unfortunately, unlike Demon Souls, um, the enchanted falchion's not that great. <laughs> uh, yeah. Magic's not as good as it once was in this game. It's been nerfed in this version. And there we go. So we're going to travel to Iron Keep. And we're going to go to the middle bonfire. So um, Iron Heath, Iron Hearth Hall, should I say. Uh, the one just after the boss fight. And where the pursuer was as well. And we're just going to quickly run and um, open up Belfry's Soul. 
and uh, start off the first bit of farming. So I've not fully done it at this point. I've only killed 10. By the end of this video, I've only killed 10 invaders and I've only got 10 sunlight medals. Uh, it does, like I said, it takes a long time. I need to get these videos done at a daily rate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be farming in between when I get a minute. But as long as we have it, <laughs> see you then. Um, but as long as we have um, all 30, so 30 sunlight medals and 30 invaders killed by the end of the first playthrough, that will be when I actually go and collect the rewards um, at the end of the first playthrough, so we can just catch up. Uh, you can do it intermittently as well, uh, so you don't have to do it all at once. I'm showing you now at this point, so we can get it started. But I'll do it now and again. Five here, ten here. So if my souls. Uh, my count at the bottom there does change. I will tell you when I have been doing it, but that'll be why. So yeah, we have opened this up already, and we did look down here. But once you drop down here, you kind of locked into uh, doing this area or uh, warping out. So I'm just going to heal up my uh, my weapon and then go for it. So the same uh, guy's going to be at the top here. You can actually join the covenant from this guy at the top. It's the same one, or looks the same anyway. So you can, if you don't have the Covenant at this point, you can actually join it here by just speaking to him. So I'm just going to skip over what he's saying, nothing of interest really, and uh, go through. There is a summon here, you to the right hand side, you can get it if you want. But it's, um, yeah, it's just these guys again, with some other uh, phantoms. Summon here, it's worth getting it just for this moment, if you are human, but don't worry if you're not. It's not a difficult area this at all. Again, it's very short, not as short as the other one, but pretty short. Uh, yeah, and this is what we're going to be doing for the farming. I'm not going to do it just yet. We're just going to clear the area first, but we'll come up that ladder. We'll run to the far left corner, see if there's a red phantom there. It'll be the same one over and over again. Uh, if he's not, run back, drop down, sit at the bonfire, rinse and repeat. But these guys uh, will die. After 12 times, these guys will disappear. So for the first 12 runs, it's probably advised to kill the, the little dwarfs. The, the, the mage there, the pyromancer... And uh, this guy to the left here. These are one-offs. These won't come back, but the, the little dwarfs will. So once you've killed this one and the, the pyromancer, they'll be gone forever. This guy, we have to fight later on. A much stronger version of him. Uh, and a Havel version as well. Uh, kind of Havel. It's not Havel, but somebody who uses the same stuff as him. Uh, yeah, you will get rusted coins um, from the, the bell keepers, the little guys. That is a possibility. That's good because that can help for the second part of the farming. Uh, so I'm just going to ring this bell here. Uh, yeah, that's good. They may, may also drop um, a pyromancy. I think it's a pyromancy they may drop. It, don't worry if you don't get it. I don't get it either. Um, we can go and buy it later on. It's a cheap one anyway. So don't worry if you don't get it. We're just going to run up and go round. So you have to circle this whole area. To get back down into Iron Keep. Uh, yeah, here's the guy again. I forget this one's name. He has the two uh, Evelyns. Avalins. Very easy to kill. Well, someone's not really doing much, really, is he? <laughs> Simpleton Spice down here. This again is the stuff that reduces uh, spell cost or spell uh, what you need, your intelligence and things for spells. With uh, Skeptic Spice being the miracle equivalent. Basically, you use it at that guy that we went to Iron Keep and bought the Jester's Hat from. Uh, and he'll reduce the intelligence needed for any given spell. Uh, I think to the max of 10, something like that. This guy's hitting a bit harder. Wasn't expecting him to hit that hard, hard to be honest. It's not difficult. It just caught out then. Might as well get rid of these guys because they will. Uh, they do have bow and arrows and will get a bit annoying. Which will open this guy up, or hopefully, for a backstab. I don't think we get it. Yeah, <laughs> get the animation, but he's out of the way. Surprisingly quick. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's this area done. The drifter's going to disappear. Uh, there is a ladder here to the right if you need to get back on the roof for any reason. There's another simpleton spice. So yeah, that's it. We'll just uh, move on. We're going to get immolation, which is pyromancy, out of the chest here. He's going to go, because we're done. So again, another reason we actually need to do this one is for this uh, this pyromancy here. And then we'll go and collect a couple of other things. 
down at the bottom of the circle all the way back into iron keep and then we'll start the farming off so yeah you need to be part of the bell keepers covenant so you need to have that bell icon in the top corner again you can join it from the guy just outside the door and you also need to have the ring equipped i will show you again when we get to the top secret wall here black knight great sword uh, that's about all that is useful there again can be fire and lightning damage at the same time if you want it to be the scaling for the weapon that we use is not worth adding things to fire or anything like that it's just not it's just best as a straight up strength weapon and that's what we're going to keep it as so yeah there we go We've gone full circle so we'll do a quick a uh, cu couple of quick runs show you what you need to do here uh, and hopefully you can get lucky and get the way it kind of works or I found it to work is that you'll go up um, yeah so I actually have them still alive here so 12 so make sure you got the ring equipped as well uh, the bellkeeper's ring um, it has the same symbol so you should be able to pick it out quite easily uh, here he is so there's the, the the red guy here so this is actually not the first time I've gone up this is the uh, probably ninth <laughs> to be honest uh, so I've just cut it out, but I'll show you who we're actually looking for. So if you just look in that left corner and look for this red phantom, if he's here, kill him. That counts as one. You don't get anything from him. There's no way to actually know. So make a note of how many kills you actually have. Uh, for every 10, you'll get a prize. You can see I'm going to get some t uh, Titanite Slab. That's for getting 10 kills. So that's the point. I'll leave it and I will show you that happening. He does like to roll away. Look. <laughs> Come on. There you go. So yeah, that's one. One done. So what I would do is just normal, look in that corner, run, heal. The reason I'm healing, it wasn't necessary, you may think, but I actually dropped down here. If you have a similar amount of health to me, you should be able to make this drop without dying. It's quicker than using a ladder, that's all. And then you get your health back instantly from uh, resting. Just make sure if you do have any damage on you, it can kill you. You can see my souls have just jumped again. So actually, uh, I think this is the tenth one. So I'm going to run up. You can see the bell is kind of pulsating in the top corner again. It's That's kind of searching, matchmaking, if you will. Uh, and I'm going to get matched to another guy, but I get summoned to their world instead of them coming to me. Which means uh, I'm the Black Phantom. Or the Red Phantom, whatever you want to call it. So that can happen, I'll show you randomly. So yeah, how it works, what I was going to say as well, is uh, uh, being some grey spirit, that's the one. Um, it, you, you'll find that a stretch of maybe ten attempts, you'll find none of them. And then three in a row, you'll you'll go up three times and you'll be there three times in a row. Uh, so yeah, that can happen. So here's uh, Ferran SN18Es. He's just a random player, I've been summoned into his world. This doesn't count, but if they invade you, that does count. So it is a PvP based um, covenant. He's got the Dragon Tooth, which is uh, Havel's weapon. Pretty slow to be honest. And he has a summon as well, which is quite annoying. Uh, you don't need to do this, and if you do die, um, it doesn't matter. You won't die, you won't lose your humanity, you'll be fine. Almost got him there, and then you get the backstab. Oh, you can't heal if you're a grey spirit. You can't heal. Um, well, you can, in theory, if you have the spells, you can heal. Or if you've got, like, the Butcher's Knife, like I have, you can heal. So I'm going to just quickly back away. I thought I'd just leave this in for a bit bit of fun. Um, yeah, the summon's trying to come for me, but luckily it gets uh, taken out by the, the Dwarf. So it gives me time to uh, finish this guy off. Uh, if, with an MP, um, fighting another player like this, you'll find that they'll panic and try and get away from you more than to actually try and fight you um, so yeah that's the easiest way again don't more don't worry if you die it's not a problem uh, so this is number 10 I've, I've gone fast forwarded again this is the the tenth time I'm killing this guy there we go and I'll go and speak to the bellkeeper guy and uh, he'll give me a titanite slab I think he gives you rusty coins after the first one, but I haven't gone and spoke to him yet. But you should get rusted coins uh, times five and then the Titanite Slab. That denotes, kind of denotes, when you see that, that you've gone up a level 
we need to get to rank 2 which is 30, rank 1 is 10. So we get the, ru the rusted coins, you should see that it will say uh, level leveled up the covenant, something like that. There you go. Your devotion to the Covenant has deepened. You've gained a rank. So when that happens, you'll get your, your prize. We need to go to rank 2. So, a long way off yet, but again, I will be working on it in between the videos. I'm not going to show you again, but I will let you know when I have done it. You can do it whenever. Uh, just make sure to remember to join the Covenant again and wear the ring if you're going to come and do this. Because we do need to change the Covenant to do this next one. So there, that's 10. So we're going to go back to Medulla. And we're going to join a covenant we haven't done yet, which is the one at the top here, which makes the game harder and uh, means that enemies will not despawn even after being killed 12 times. They will stay forever. So if you run up the right hand side here, there's just a random uh, like shrine and then just enter the covenant. You'll need to do it a few times. It's going to ask you a few times, like, are you really sure? Yes, yes, yes. And then actually join it as well. So you will want to remove this covenant. I will do that at the end of this video. To, um... Yeah, you don't want to leave it on as you're just casually playing through. Because it is more difficult. Uh, you saw I got the Champion's Tablet in there as well. That is basically a leaderboard for online something or other. Nothing we need. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to go and uh, farm some Sunlight Medals. Which are for... The Heirs of Sun Covenant, I believe they call that. Uh, we need 30 to get the Sunlight Spear Miracle. That's all we need to do it for, uh, which is leveling through it. That's going to be the top level as well, Tier 3. Uh, so I'm going to change this ring out. We don't need that anymore. You want to put the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring on. And then you can also put the Silver one on as well, because um, you'll, be doing, you'll be killing a lot of enemies, so the extra souls will come in handy. So you should have both of those. Put the Jester's hat on, that's going to improve your item discovery. So what we're doing is basically improving the odds. Also put the Watchdog Palmer back on, that also improves item discovery. Make sure you're alright rolling. Um, yeah, improve our odds of getting a Sunlight Medal. That's essentially what we're equipping that stuff for. And then we're going to go to Brightstone Cove, the Royal Army Campsite. And we're going to keep killing the same four enemies over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And over for about two hours <laughs> until or whenever you've got 30 sunlight medals so kill the first one ahead of you the one to the right will come running in more than likely attack uh, they shouldn't usually be together like that it's just the timings a bit different it will change a bit when you keep sitting at the bonfire and then kill the one in the tent and then sit at the bonfire and repeat until you have 30 of them Again, not going to get 30, I'll just get 10 by the end of this video. Uh, just quickly do another run. So this is kind of where you should be at. Uh, also, we can use these rusted coins as well. I don't really rely on them. Um, because I don't actually know. You can't really tell when they wear off. Maybe one, use one every two runs. And you'll probably run out before you get Sunlight Medal number 30 anyway. So use them if you want. They do increase your item discovery, but only for about a minute or so. So kill the first one, second one. I don't even get a Sunlight Medal in my first few runs here. So I will just skip right to run number 10, or the 10th Sunlight Medal. These guys are simple enough, but don't give them a chance. They can um, hurt you, and you definitely want to go, don't go, go surrounded. If you go out the tent, the pigs will come after you. If you go past the bonfire, the guys with the... Uh, bows will start shooting at you. So this is number 10. This is me getting the 10th the Sunlight Medal. So that's usually the attack pattern that will happen. You'll kill the one at the, the bonfire. He'll come in from the right attack. Giving uh, you a chance for this guy to come up. And then go and do the one in the tent. But yeah, unfortunately, this is uh, it's going to take a while. Uh, to cash these in, we'll need to go to the, the Sunlight Altar, which is in Harvest Valley. There we go, that's Sunlight Medal number 10. You'll be getting lots of Falconer's Helms and Armour and things like that. Uh, a lot of it. So, there's number 10. You can see Sunlight Medal number 10. So, I've got 10 already. You can see my souls are pretty high, 137,000. Uh, we'll go and spend those. Um, that's how long it's taken to get 10. 50 runs, maybe. 
something like that unfortunately uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm running to uh, I always forget the cat's name Lafleur, 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 something like that I don't know um, well, speak to her and then you can remove the covenant this way you don't need to be in a covenant uh, and you can see here your levels for them so we're at bellkeeper level 1 not heirs of the sun we haven't cashed them in yet we're going to do them all at once once we have 30 and then abandon so we're not in the, uh, the champions covenant because we don't want to make the heart the game harder than we need to. Because Shalakwa, Shalakwa, saw it at the top there for a minute. Shalakwa. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to be moving on after this. And again, just fit this, the farming in now and again. You will have to re keep rejoining those couple of covenants uh, as as a, whichever one you want to do. Uh, wear the the appropriate rings as well. And uh, just break it up. Honestly, as long as you're done by the end of the first playthrough, that's when I'll cash these in. We'll do a clean up section. Um, and that's when we'll do it but just know I'm doing it in the background in between as well uh, so if you go to a bonfire you can use your item box uh, you will notice you probably picked up quite a few falconer's helms or falconer's armor you can drop any of the spare ones off if you want to to clean up your inventory a bit so if you need to switch between armors you don't keep choosing the wrong one and uh, yeah then just going to level up so I'm going to be putting it in strength the usual really probably stop at strength 50 or I will stop at strength 50 endurance um, ha vigor a bit in faith and intelligence just to get resistances up uh, and that's about it so where do we go vitality endurance uh, yeah vitality is just for my new armor that we're going to be getting in the next video I want to be, make sure I can equip it so I'm going to be gradually leveling that up as well and that's it so that's it for this one good luck with your uh, farming Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you on the next one.